HUD has told us to operate under our current HUD compliance systems until TRAX 203A goes live and your software is 203A compliant. Don't forget that, that's real important. Now that does not mean for you not to be making policies, plans, and procedures for further hot mud 203A moves. It just means not to implement any of those new changes just yet. I think many of you are having a problem with the COLA change and implementation period because of the way it's written in the notice. It really is the same. You will be implementing the changes for the 2024 AR certifications. The COLA announcement came out in October to be effective for 2024 certs, which means it will affect the same certs it has always, January, February, March, and April. The guidance says that you can use the COLA immediately after they are announced, affecting all re-examinations scheduled for January the 1st and later. Don't make this harder than it has to be. If you have a move-in for November or December, calculate the Social Security Administration amounts as you do now, either one or two months at the third party verification that you receive. Calculate the 2024 monthly income with the COLA increase. Add the two together for a 12 month income period. It's really simple. For your current residence, since it has been announced or since it was announced in October, your November and December search should already be sent to tracks. Hopefully, the process will keep us on our toes and encourage us not to have late certifications. Maybe the Q&As from HUD will help those of you who are still confused by this when they come out. See you next time for another Tuesday Tip.